We begin with the first question in the electronic part. It is to simplify trigonometric expressions. It's from lesson 11.1. Here we have got expressions, trigonometric expressions. All these can be easily solved in the calculator. And since it's the electronic part, you will have four options with you. Options are very important to have. Otherwise, you cannot solve these. So imagine these two are the options for the first one. Now, let's take our calculators and solve this up. First thing, you can see the calculator is in degree mode. It is very important for you to make the uh, radian mode on. That is by pressing shift. You can see when I press shift, the S symbol is on. And now when I click on mode, I get these options. And then I click on four for radian, rad, that's the thing. If I just put mode, these are the options. But if I press shift and mode, I get this radian. So now we can see it's R, that is the radian symbol, That's that means the calculator is in radian mode. Now let me type this out. Look here, it's a fraction 1 minus sine square. Look, there are two types of squares over here. We cannot put after sine any square. Don't put over here inside the bracket. See, sine, theta, right? So we'll write it as x, theta is x for us. Don't put the square here, this is wrong you'll get error because this means it's sine theta squared. If it's sine squared, you have to write it outside. This is the thing. Or you can have some brackets if you want for sine itself. And this is also fine. But that is just extra brackets. See down, I'm just going to write simply sine x, close the bracket and square it up. This is it. Above and below both are the same thing. You do not need to put extra brackets, but if you want, you can see over here up above, but below is also correct. Now, what you need to do is you need to calculate theta at certain value. Let's calculate it at, I'll just take it as two. Okay, I calculated at two. What is the value? 0 0.20945, I write it somewhere, just keep it in mind. It's better you guys write it somewhere in a piece of paper and then look into the four options. Now I'm just gonna write it out over here so that I can remember later. It is 0 0.20945 and you can write any number but these are more than enough. Four to six digits are enough. Now look into all the four options and solve them at the same uh, the x value. The x value I considered was two, right? So now I will start with secant. There's no secant option, but I can write one by cosine x, which is secant. Okay. Now let me calculate this at two as well. Am I getting the same answer? No. So this is the wrong option. Let's go to the next option. Let's try one by cotangent is one by tan x, close the bracket and square it up. Here you can see this matches. So this is correct option. Why? Because this is giving the same answer what we wanted, right? Now there's one more thing about the square here. I've put one by tan square, or you can write the square outside for the entire term. This is also correct. Or I can just put the brackets here. This is also correct. Now here. One square would be the same thing, right? One itself. So I just put the square down below. I'll just remove all this and I'll just put the square here. That is more than enough. Okay, this will be correct. So this is how uh, we can solve this up. Now you must match it with the given question and yes, it matches. So this is your correct answer. Let us do the next one here. What happens? Tan x that is alpha x close the bracket multiply it with cosecant is one by one by sine sine x now i'm just going to calculate it at two here you can see the answer is minus four point six. and yes we had got secant as well the same answer just a while ago remember one by cosine x calculated at two it's at two only so this is correct now, if you're wondering, can I calculate it at any other value? Yes, you can, but avoid zero, avoid 90 degrees, avoid 45 degrees. These are some tricky ones. The best value is just two. You will get the answer almost all the time. You know, almost all the problems, I've tried all the problems, you will get the answer for this. Unless it is undefined at that particular value. It is, look into this one here. It's one. Now, let's go back over here. One by sine square 
I just put the square down minus cosine squared cosine x close the bracket and square it up and down again we have sine squared close the bracket now let me calculate it at 2 I'm getting 1 let's look into the option ah, okay this is an identity I mean not an identity you you get the value to 1 itself so it doesn't matter what x value you take let's say 3 it'll be 1 let's take 8 it'll be 1 let's take minus 5 it'll be 1 all the values will just give you one so this is a um, you know you can easily understand the answer so all the other options will not give you one only the, there'll be one itself so this is the correct answer but what if i take zero it'll be a math error why right? because it's undefined it'll be one divided by zero it's undefined infinity right so make sure you avoid taking one uh, sorry zero as the theta value anything other than that stick to two itself what about the next problem here Again, it's the same thing, cosecant is 1 by uh, sine squared, sine x, close the bracket and square it, over here it's up above is 1, and then what do we have, minus cotangent, it's again 1 by tangent squared, tangent x, close the bracket and square it up and close the bracket properly. Now here, let's calculate it at 2. And we are getting 2. Even if you choose any other value, you will get the 2 itself. But let's stick to 2. So that's the answer. If the answer option is 2, just try calculating it any other value. You will get the same number. And then that's the answer. What about this one here? It is 1 plus sine theta. So it's only sine theta. Close the bracket. Twice because it's now the first part is over. Multiply it with 1 minus sine theta and close the bracket. Now calculate this at 2. Here the value is 0 0.1731. Now you should look into all the four options and start solving them up. So it's 1 divide, sorry, it's not 1 divided by just cos x squared it up. Calculate it at 2. And yes, that's the correct answer. But make sure your calculator is in radian mode. There are few, these are the few things to remember. And now here, it's 2 minus 2 sine squared theta. And calculate it at 2. The answer is 0 0.346. Now, if you do this, 2 cos squared theta, calculate it to 0 0.346. Yes, that's the correct answer. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.